Hi, I'm Brie Balchunas, and this is Orlando Health News Review for September 17th, broadcasting from Winnie Palmer Hospital. Three months ago, I delivered a healthy baby girl, Catherine. I had an amazing experience, and I'd like to thank everyone for the exceptional care they provided me and my family. Today, as I return to you as the weekly host, we are celebrating one year since the launch of the Orlando Health News Review. I shared with you last year that this program is about reinventing our communication to you. We want to feature you and showcase the great things we're doing together. I think we've achieved that goal and we are dedicated to continuing to bring you the latest and greatest news from around Orlando Health. Speaking of the great things at Orlando Health, it is that time of year again for biometric screenings. This is an excellent opportunity for all of us to take a moment to check on our own health. Melissa Teal tells us how she discovered more about her own health during her biometric screening. Of course, you get money taken off your health insurance, so that was a big motivator, but also I just felt like I wanted to see a baseline of where I was at with um, my lab work and my BMI. I was surprised by my BMI results, which prompted me to want to get involved with the Healthy You Fitness Center. I made a lot of diet changes, just a little bit more clean eating. Now, Melissa is in the best shape of her life. Um, I still work out two to three days a week. I still try to eat pretty healthy, and I plan to continue that healthy lifestyle, as well as every year since then, I have gotten my biometric screening. While I was attending the Healthy You Fitness Center, I was working with one of the personal trainers there, who ultimately has now become the man that I'm going to be marrying this November. Biometric screenings will be held through November 7th at select Orlando Health Labs for team members on the Health Choice Medical Plan. More information is available on SWIFT. Next, today's Healthcare 101 is about the meaning of not-for-profit. Orlando Health is a not-for-profit organization, but our goal is still to operate efficiently and be profitable. But I'd like to explain why. The difference between a for-profit and a not-for-profit organization is largely based on how profits are distributed. As a not-for-profit organization, we do not distribute profits to owners. Instead, all money earned or donated to the organization remains in the organization and is used to support our mission. After we pay team members and vendors, we must have money left over to support growth. This means if we are not profitable, we couldn't buy new equipment or expand our services to the community. As a not-for-profit organization, we are tax exempt and not subject to most forms of taxation. Read about more topics like this on the Library Services Healthcare 101 Dictionary. Finally, this weekend is the 16th annual Miracle Miles presented by Panera Bread benefiting the Alexander Center for Neonatology at Winnie Palmer Hospital. More than 1,600 babies are admitted each year to the NICU, and more than 28,000 babies have been successfully treated since the unit opened in 1975. I'll be running the 15K this year for my brother, who was a NICU baby in 1985, weighing less than two pounds. Today, you would never know he was a preemie unless you saw his baby pictures. If you see me at the race, come tell me why you're running. Thank you for joining us in celebrating one year of the Orlando Health News Review. That's it for today's edition. From everyone at Orlando Health News Review, for the Orlando Health News Review, for Orlando Health News Review, for Orlando Health News Review, I'm Brie Balchunas.